What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, bringing you the latest war recap. But not just a war recap, it's really a how-to on so many different attacks. We have some really cool attacks this war. Uh, we went against a random matchup with Why So Golem, which was actually kind of ironic because we have an arranged war with them in the next couple of weeks or so. So we just randomly spun, got them, just to uh, show you, you know, who they are. Here's the... Uh, uh, the breakdown as far as uh, you know where they're from and everything like that Twitter and so forth uh, as you see that we were able to come out the victor uh, 7166 was a lot of fun um, a, a tiny bit of a mismatch on both sides I guess we had uh, town hall 11 while they did not but they had two more town hall 10s slash 9.5s than we did so it's kind of a, I guess, a little bit of rub, and we had a Town Hall 8 while well, they had no Town Hall 8s and the rest Town Hall 9s. But, I mean, it was a, it was still a fun war. We enjoyed it. We, we brought some pretty decent attacks, but we struggled a little bit. Just to show you real quick what they did against us. Um, they struggled against our Town Hall 11, two-starred our Town Hall 10s, and then they two star three-starred uh, our top Town Hall 9s, I think by dipping, if I'm not mistaken, and then struggled with some of our topper, or is that a word, topper Town Hall 9s. And um, I think that, yeah, they got the, the rest. We, um, I think we got, yeah, we, we didn't get their, their number one. Um, we, we should have, but uh, we, we didn't. And uh, uh, we struggled with some of their mids and even a couple lowers. So uh, we got to tighten that stuff up, but it was a lot of fun. Let's just go ahead and jump into some of the attacks. Um, let's jump in and check out uh, our Town Hall 10 taking their Town Hall 10. Now, it is not a max Town Hall 10 base, but it does have level 2 Infernos and uh, Town Hall 9 Expos. I think there's only, yeah, there's three Expos. One of them is a level 2, so by far not a, a max Town Hall 10, but still a really nice attack. Do, doing mass bowlers here, using a baby dragon on both sides, top uh, left and bottom right to do some funneling. And the queen walked to go ahead and take care of the other funneling portion of this. So he's going to go ahead and drop um, wall breakers in at the 6 o'clock. And then uh, bring some giants to tank for them. Uh, for the bowlers. And uh, throw everybody in at that spot. He has got a jump, a freeze, and three rages. There goes the wall breakers. There goes a couple of bowlers just again to help that funneling so they don't walk up towards that northeastern portion uh, and the giant to also uh, conclude that um, that funnel there we go with the giants and uh, he's going to go ahead and just start sending in all those bowlers there drops a jump on the inferno and uh, these bowlers are not going to cooperate like they should have they take a right when they should take a left or we want them to take a left uh, clan castle is triggered and poison is dropped a little bit late but it's still going to go ahead and take care of them Bowlers are doing their thing. Queen, King, they all take the jump. Bowlers head right. Uh, the rest of the kill squad head, heads left. And uh, we're going to drop a freeze on here a little bit late as well because the King actually goes down right now. But a couple straggler bowlers do follow that Queen. And he also sends some hogs in to take care of that Inferno Tower while um, just coming right out of freeze. But it's going to be just in time. There we go. It's down. The healers are down though as well. And now we have a ton of bowlers that are just cleaning up all the trash buildings already. These hogs will go ahead and take out as much defense as they can and they'll die off. We'll go ahead and fast forward this as they start walking around. The queen is going to do her best. Still has an ability, still has a rage. And uh, she's going to go down and the bowlers are going to go ahead and clean this base up. With the under rage, they're going to take care of those two last defenses really quick, and they're going to get the three stars. So good way to start us off. Now we'll go ahead and jump into some town hall. All right, starting with number five, we're going to watch an HGHB. Devin's going to come in here and take care of this max town hall nine base uh, with um, two rage, one heal, one jump, and he, he does a really good use of his hogs, getting one for one and, and throwing them in to help that funnel and also you know take care of those defenses that are lying on the outlier, outliers of the base. Here we go with the Giants going in under the healer, all four healers, and uh, they're going to start punching through the wall. Now he can send his wizards down there to funnel. I've said it a million times. Funneling is the most important thing. There's one of those hogs I was talking about that gets one for one with the archer tower. 
up there at the six o'clock compartment there it goes down and he's able to jump in for a couple other defenses just to help out clan castle is triggered all the kill squad is going in correctly that wizard's going to go ahead, i'm sorry though the the archer queen is going to go ahead and take care of that clan castle with the help of the poison as the bowlers giants and everything else make their way into the core and uh, things are looking really really good that minions was getting tons of value up on the top left as well all healers are up uh, kill squads just making their way through the core just as basically as perfect as you can get there goes the second rage still has a jump and a heal and um, he's going to go ahead and send some hogs in here while that uh, those defenses are being tanked by the kill squad sends it up into the nine o'clock compartment and the bowlers are going to go ahead and move over to that way there's a tesla farm that pops up uh, still has five more hogs to go still has a heal and the jump there but being very patient still has a couple or at least one healer that's that's doing a little bit of healing on those hogs uh, as they are sprung they'll go ahead and switch on to the giant queen and wizards are cleaning up on the top uh, uh, left as there is no more defenses to hurt them on that corner king is still full health with ability heal goes down um and uh he, he doesn't have any more hogs uh, uh up in that corner but uh, he does have two still uh, that he's hanging on to still has the jump so uh he's just waiting for that to to go ahead and jump to get into that last uh, queen compartment and both uh, king and queen have abilities. So at this point, the base is completely wrecked with a jump still in the bag. There we go. The giants are going to go ahead and tank under the healer for that archer queen. And uh, the rest of the kill squad is going to go ahead in there. Sends those hogs in the back end, which is really not necessary. But, uh, you know, just speeds things up. There we go. And uh, this space was completely crushed with that tack. A really, really cool tack. So HGHB healers, uh, giants, uh, hogs, and bowlers. Now let's check out number 10 and watch the healers, Pekka's hogs, and bowlers. Same, very, very similar strategy, but, um, you know, it's, uh, I, I like this a little bit more than HGHB just because the Pekka's, they, they're so much more beefy and um, they, uh, they do a lot more damage and they don't go to spring traps, which is a big deal. So we got great funneling on the top uh, top left and bottom right there with minions and baby dragon. Uh, going to get a lot of value out of them. He's going to go ahead and send his kill squad, the three Pekkas, uh, king and queen with bowlers into that uh, seven o'clock compartment. Take care of that clan castle. And... Um, there goes the queen to take care of that clan castle under poison pekkas are making their way in there's the king and bowlers drop they have nowhere else to go but into that main compartment there there's the rest of the clan castle which is ground which is going to be taken out by those pekkas in one swipe so that's going to be no problem for them wanted to show this kind of funky base uh, double giant bombs are on both sides of those that air sweeper that they're coming into uh, 13 hogs for the back end he uses a second rage there he's got two heals and they're just going to shrug off those double giant bombs like it's nothing especially with the healers uh, healing them under rage there we go with a couple hogs in on uh, that uh, top left he's going to go ahead and push them through with a heal get that air defense just as it's starting to take out some of the healers so he's going to go ahead and save them for the time being sends a couple more hogs in a surgical clockwise manner so that's uh just a really really nice job there all the double giant bombs have been accounted for so these hogs all they have to do is watch out for the defenses and spring traps which is really nice because uh, they have no more heals but we've got three pekkas still up with full health uh, doing their thing hogs are going taking care of as much defense as they can they're not going to be able to take care of the entire rest of the defenses i think they're going to stop right at this mortar but uh, sends the rest of the hogs in there supplement them into that uh, four o'clock compartment there we go we lost a couple to spring traps and they're going to make their way to this mortar i think they're going to get the mortar and then it's going to be game over for them there we go and uh, the cannon is going to win that battle. But unfortunately for that cannon, there are three full health P.E.K.K.A.s, a full health king, and a full health queen with ability coming down to meet uh, that. So we're going to fast forward this because I think we all know the inevitable result of that. And that's going to be the cannon getting completely trashed and the base getting completely toasted and Citrus getting three star. Um, we had a lot of cool HGHB and HPHB attacks in this war. I wish I could show them all. I just want to give you an idea of each one. Um, so, 
So number 12, we're going to look at an uh, Gobo La Lune. Uh, I was able to get a six pack this war and I actually, I'm still, I'm not struggling with the attack. I want to know, I want to know what the opposite of struggling is because I'm crushing bases more than I expect to, uh, which is a good thing, but um, uh, I'm still, I have to learn the power of this kill squad because it's getting further than I even expect, sometimes taking all four of the uh, air defenses out and then I'm left holding a couple um uh, hounds and I don't know really what to do with them so I should bring more balloons I just don't expect to get as far as I am so I've got a shattered entry coming in with two golems uh, wall breakers to break into that three o'clock compartment the golems are going to reroute one of them already is the other one is going to reroute as soon as that uh, cannon goes down I've got my king going in and I've got my uh, bowlers going in as as that one golem is already tanking um, they're going to go ahead and trip the clan castle in just a second drop in that uh, jump Getting one AD right here, and then getting that enemy queen uh, with those bowlers, and queen are going to help that. She's going to go down in two hits. There we go. And the clan castle needs to go down in just a second. I think that baby dragon is still up, but the queen's going to go ahead and take care of that right here. Standing under rage. Uh, everything splits up. We're going to take care of a couple of those Teslas on the bottom, and uh, we're going to get the uh, bottom air defense in just a second. The... Um, Tesla farm is almost dead. That one Tesla is on zero health, and the 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 one the far, far left is got full health. We've got the golem are on the bottom that is going to get that uh, uh, air defense right here. So now there is only one air defense left, and uh, I send the other. I should have sent the other lava hound in a lot earlier than this. I uh, I don't know what I was thinking. But um, I should have sent it in. That that air defense goes down. So now I've got a lava hound that uh, can't be tanking for any more air defenses because there are no more air defenses. So I'll let it tank for the archer tower, which is the only thing that can do damage to these loons. So I've got uh, three more loons that will take care of that top section right there. So I've just got to be a little bit patient. I've got wizards cleaning up on the two bottom, which is perfect. I've got a lava hound going up to the top, which technically I could let uh, that lava hound tank for a while but I might as well just go ahead and take care of this base while I can that lava hound there's no chance of that thing popping it is just about full health and it, that archer tower is going to have to do it till the new millennium uh, in order to bust that so I save one more um, loon for cleanup there as I know that that hound is not going to pop so I've got a pretty decent split on the loon I'll send it up to that top uh, left hand corner that final cleanup loon Get a nice split up top. I've got the wizards doing everything. Swag of poison and just completely crush the base. Like I said, I got to get used to the. I could have brought one lava hound to this attack and brought um, six more loons. Uh, it would have just crushed the base even heavier. But I mean, you know, I was I was happy with that. So uh, pretty cool, fun attack. I love that attack. It's my favorite so far um, as far as strategy goes. Let's go ahead and check out another Gobo La Loon, but this time. He's going to do the opposite. He's going to bring cold-blooded uh, with three hounds and uh, the bullers in the clan castle. So um, it's it's a it's a cool attack that you could tweak a lot of different ways. Not a lot of point defenses coming in on this golem, which allows him to do a cold-blooded entry. Just wants to funnel in here, get at least those two air defenses and the queen, which he is going to do with absolutely no problem. Sends the wall breakers here, which split, but he still gets it open. And then the king and bowlers are sent in. Golem is rerouting. Golem is just about full health still. So uh, one of those bowlers decides to be a rebel and go ahead and do his own thing on the bottom. He will take out, I think, that cannon possibly. But we've got the kill squad taking out the uh, clan castle there. One air defense is down. Uh, the other air defense is in target. The queen is going to go ahead and take the enemy queen down. And then there goes the other air defense. So we can start sending in the loons now, or the hounds now. Now he has... Um, three hounds to go ahead and tank for this and he still has his queen that's up that's going to go down just in a second but that's fine so he's starting uh his loons up in that top the noon compartment doing a, a counterclockwise type of deployment very very cool it's looking really good he still has one more uh hound tanking that air defense and one hound that he has not even deployed yet so those loons are going to get that uh, third air defense and here we go uh send in, in that uh last lava hound and he is going to go ahead and over crush this base as well they go ahead and take the uh that uh, all those uh traps but uh, that hound is definitely not going to go down in the amount of time, especially with the haste on those loons. So uh, he's going to go ahead and crush this base with a, a full lava hound as well. So both ways, 
just such an overpowering attack. I mean, you, you go ahead and um, end up having a, a full Lava Hound. It's just a really cool uh, strategy with these semi-max Town Hall 9 base defenses. Um, you can go ahead and do this. He has 2017 heroes, so you don't need super beefy heroes. It's just a really overpowering attack. If you can get two air defenses in the Queen with your kill squad, it just allows for so much more to go ahead and take care of this base. Okay. So uh, one last um, Gobo Laloon, uh, my six pack here. And uh, this time I actually uh, completely crushed the base <laughs> even more than last time. I had uh, two Lava Hounds with no air defenses left. I did not think I was going to get all four. I thought I was going to get just three air defenses. So bring in a Shattered Entry again with the, the, just a couple Wizards to funnel the base, which just works out great, and sending in some Wall Breakers to open up that compartment. As soon as that Wizard Tower goes down, at the top compartment there, outside the compartment, the other golem will reroute. Drop in a jump on that mortar or, uh, south of the clan castle. And we've got the king, queen, and bowlers in there. Clan castle comes out. They're going to go ahead and be standing in poison. Get taken out by that uh, queen. And hopefully we don't uh, time out here. They've got one air defense down. And we've got the second air defense down, third air defense down by the golems. And there is our hero queen. And I'm just starting to deploy the, the Lava Hound right now. And that hero queen takes out the third uh, air defense. So I'm left holding two full um, Lava Hounds with uh, no air defenses to take. So uh, at this point, I'm not used to this. I know how to deploy Lava Hounds when I have air defenses up. I don't know how to de deploy Lava Hounds when you have no air defenses because it's just really weird for me. I, I, I'm not used to that. So uh, it's probably not the best. I'm just deciding to go in a clockwise manner and send the loons in behind it. Uh, I've got it. I didn't notice that the expo had no loon on it. I should have had a loon on top of that. Uh, I think the, the lava hound will actually end up busting that the expo, but definitely taking a lot more damage than I should. But I've got two lava hounds. Uh, you might as well. One of them needs to bust. There we go. One is almost busting. Um, and uh, still has no defenses on it, so it's it's still a full lava hound. So there we go with that expo, and a little late on that uh, that loon it would have saved a couple lava pups. But I'll go ahead and heal them up. I only have one more point defense that can actually take these loons, and that lava hound is going to go ahead and um, tank for the rest of this raid. I wish that uh, the that black tiki mine would actually have hit the lava hound. But, uh, you know, again, over crushing the base. We've got Wizards, Pups cleaning up at the top, and Loon cleaning up on the bottom. So, uh, again, I could have brought one Lava Hound with that and a, a bunch more Loons. Just never know how many uh, air defenses you're definitely going to get with that attack. It's really, really overpowered. All right, a few more to look at. Number 19, let's look at a Queen Walk Vaho. Because we have not done that yet. Uh, Odin going taking care of this base very soundly. And we're gonna, you know, we're showing you a couple lower town hall nines or 8.5s over the next few uh, attacks here. So we've got the queen going down here. The funnel has already been made with a baby dragon and a minion to force her to go ahead and walk southeast, which uh, is exactly where she wants the queen to go. So uh, the baby dragon get a lot of value also. It's, it's taking care of a lot of trash buildings as well as some of those outer defenses. Very, very nice. And uh, clan castle is tripped. So we've got a poison going down, a runway poison, and a uh, rage going on. So she does not need to use that uh, ability. Um, I think she just did just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. And then we've got a little pesky... Um, archer that's going to go ahead and just pinch these healers for a little bit until the queen finally figures out what's going on and then she will go ahead and uh turn around so we've got the kill squad coming in from the 10 o'clock with the the king the, the, the and the uh 
Valkyries, there's already been uh, funneling as uh, the queen was doing her walk, was funneling with baby dragon up top. Tons of value up there. Drops a jump in there, still has two heals. There's the queen. She goes and takes out that archer finally and is going to continue her walk. Valks take the jump. Uh, King decides, I don't want to take that jump. I'm going to trip the double giant bomb, which the hogs are very, very gracious or are grateful for. So they're going to go ahead and take out that uh, wizard tower and go ahead and take out that uh, sweeper and start making their way down as well. And then we've got uh, a couple Valks into that core, um, into the three o'clock uh, compartment, and the hogs are going to go ahead and trail behind them. And all the heals are taken, so it's time to go ahead and send the rest of the hogs. She's got, she's, she's got two more that are left over here, and I don't know if we have... Yeah, we have Valks splitting uh, all over on that bottom, uh, starting to uh, try to bunch through the wall. They're not being com very communicative with each other. Uh, they could just punch through one wall and get done with it, but that's fine. Uh, Hero Valk tanking up for that Tesla as the last two of those hogs are sent in to that um, air defense. And then Tesla, the Valk finally goes down, but two hogs are going to be too much for uh, that Tesla to handle. And uh, we're going to get to three star right here. A very nice cleanup. There we go with the composition. All right, three more attacks and then we'll be done. Let's jump down to number 20. And we're going to watch uh, Queen Walk go boho. So we haven't seen any uh, gohos in a while. So we've got um, the uh, Queen Walk going down here with the, a lot of funneling, heavy, heavy uh, hit point buildings and these storage units up top. So we've got a baby dragon and a wizard cleaning up on uh, that 9 o'clock and then sends in the queen with the healers behind her to do, go ahead and take care of the bottom 9 uh, o'clock compartment or 9 uh, of buildings. Tons of value. Look at the value you're getting from that baby dragon up top as well. Tons of cleaning up there. So the funnel is being made just perfectly perfectly um you know they, they've got nowhere to go but in there so we've got um uh, the queen going down to a poison did not have to use a rage did not have to use ability just very nicely done there and then we've got uh, the um the uh, hogs tripping the clan castle with tons of minions they're going to be standing under uh, under poison and uh, uh just a rage to be better safe than sorry uh, i don't even know if it was necessary but uh very very nicely done so I think there was maybe a Valk in there as well, and they do a lot of damage to the Queen. There we go with the um, the Golems coming in from the bottom with Wizards funneling on the top of that uh, 6 o'clock compartment outside. And the Queen is going to go ahead and have to bust through the wall here. So it's time to send the Bowlers in behind these this King and Golem to work their way up. The jump is already thrown in. The There is a quad double giant bomb in that 4 o'clock compartment right around the horseshoe of the air defense and archer tower tower by the wizard towers that they're going to walk, walk their way into here there goes a rage and we really want oh, there's a hero bowler he's going to trip or hero two bowlers that are going to go ahead and trip these giant bombs or at least eliminate the spots where they are so that's a very very chivalrous of them and uh, there we go with the Barbarians. They're going to go ahead and Leroy Jenkins in there and trip the rest of them. And uh, there is no reason for the Hogs to path over there anymore. So we've got another heal that is left over. And uh, a bunch of Hogs in that 2 o'clock compartment. They're going to go ahead and get healed to uh, take care of those buildings and try to... Uh, ignore the king's hits uh, as, as best they possibly can. They are going to split here between the two wizard towers. The top wizard tower is already tanking uh, or being tanked by the golem. And uh, they'll all reroute into that noon compartment. And uh, with the rest of the kill squad, all the healers are up. And the queen is still up. Full health. The king, um, I think the king is down, isn't he? I'm not sure. I don't see a king, so that must mean he is down. Yeah, he's down. But uh, that's fine. You've got a bunch of hogs, four or five hogs, golems. Everything's going to clean the rest of this space. So really nicely done. Uh, good cleanup attack. And uh, just a couple more to check out. Number 23. I'm going to check Lady Chelsington hitting this with a queen walk vaho. So we watched uh, a go boho. Now we'll watch a vaho. That means there's no golems here in this. But I was going to do a quick, a very, very quick queen swap 
with uh, his level five uh, archer queen to their level seven. So here is an 8.5 base. Uh, no, actually, it's got uh, one um, expo, so it still is kind of an 8.5. Uh, but they dropped one of the expos down there. There's a golem in the clan castle, and I wanted to show this because, uh, you know, I want to show some lower heroes. This is a level 10 king and a level 5 queen, and the queen is doing a queen walk, which, again, I've said before in some of my other videos, queen walks you can do at level 5. It's not the problem of keeping her alive as much as it is is doing the damage that you need to get the value out of her. A level 5 queen does so much less damage and DPS than a level... 20, 15, 25, 30, you know, it's it's a huge significant difference, but you can definitely keep her alive the same with level four healers. Uh, as long as you're not going against a max town hall nine, um, you know, these defenses are about applicable or apropos to the, the queen level here. So she's going to uh, spend a lot of her time talking with this golem, working things out and uh, just, you know, taking care of this. So that's, she's stuck on that for quite some time. The golem is even going to split into two, into the golemites, and then she's got to take care of the golem so the king and the Valks and bowlers will go ahead into the uh, the four o'clock compartment in that Tesla farm, standing under heel and rage. I've got a jump that they still haven't used just yet. But uh, the queen finally ends up killing those golemites right now. I think there's one left with just a couple of hit points. There we go. So she can go ahead and do her thing and start walking up towards the northeast. And we've got the king and Valks taking that jump and then the final heal there. We've got eight hogs that are going to go ahead and be sent in to supplement the kill squad. Already tanking. Very nice patience on them. Uh, loses a couple of Valks to that spring trap, which is not a good thing. But uh, these, these hogs are going around in a counterclockwise manner uh, all the whole time. Um, the defenses are being tanked by the king and the other kill squad. So it's just taking, uh, getting great value out of these hogs. Have uh, two more point defenses and uh, two splash damage defenses. But I think he's going to have just about enough, especially with the hero queen coming in or the hero in queen coming in from uh, that uh, six o'clock uh, area and punching through a wall just in case those hogs couldn't get the job done there are a few hogs left there are valkyries up top everybody's going to go ahead and pitch in helping to clean up this base and there we go with three star so cool attack and then our last one number 24 sgk with a shattered gobo a gobo a uh, ho uh, I think, yeah, we've we've got bowlers in the clan castle. So this is not a queen walk like we were showing before. This is just good old-fashioned stuff. 24 hogs, a shattered entry, which is two golems. Um, it, just, guys, the key to all of these attacks is the funneling. Uh, it's got wizards on the top left and top right funneling in to get these troops in here. Um, and, you know, once you get these troops in, it's a, a lot simpler. Drops the bowlers, drops the king, and uh, starts to get them into that core. Uh, trips the clan castle, drops a poison on them. And there is that pesky baby dragon that finally comes out. Level uh, 8 uh, friendly archer queen getting the job done but she's not even uh she, she's not um she doesn't care about this baby dragon she's not concerned except till now she wants to take out a couple buildings first bowlers are kind of doing their own thing they're walking around so they get sprung and uh nice job sending in the hogs to uh you know to, to try to protect the bowlers but uh they're all gone at this point so it's really up to these hogs to go ahead and get the job done i think we've got the uh friendly queen that is up and I think all the golems are actually down now, too. So we are an old school, good old fashioned uh, hogging at this point. Surgical hogging. We've got king versus queen. And I uh, don't know if he gets the ability off. No, does not get the ability off, but still gets the three star. If that queen got the ability off, she would have taken care of that king and uh, would have definitely taken care of that top portion of the base. But uh, it's not going to cost them this three star, thank goodness. Still has another heal left over and eight more hogs in the bag, which is definitely going to go ahead and push through the rest of this base as all the double giant bomb sets have been tripped. So that is a good thing. And then we've got uh, some of the hogs losing the spring, still getting the three star though. Sending the wizards up top to start that, what the queen would have done. And then minions coming in from all over the place. We do have a king on health or life support. 
and uh, he's going to get uh, basically just kicked by one of those hogs and uh, he's going to go down at that point so nice split with the hogs i think he even held on to a couple of them for cleanup and we've got the three star there so again very nice job uh you know congrats to w uh why so golem or cannot congrats but uh thanks for the war it was a lot of fun we definitely had to plan a lot for these bases nice to take them hopefully you guys enjoyed this go ahead and uh practice these attacks Get used to the composition. Get used to the uh, deployment, the, the spells. Share it with your uh, clan members. Like, subscribe. Uh, let's me, uh, you know, keep doing these type of videos and bringing this kind of content out to you guys. So hopefully you you do enjoy it, and I appreciate all the comments. Go ahead and get your six star clan wars and practice those three star attacks.